I'm channeling my inner Elon Musk today to take you on a journey to explore the fascinating world of SpaceX's ambitious Raptor engine and the hurdles they face in their quest to colonize Mars. As a fellow space lover, I can assure you we're in for an exciting ride. The Raptor engine, designed to be both reusable and insanely powerful, is poised to serve as the powerhouse of the Starship launch system. However, creating an engine that can work repeatedly under extreme conditions is no easy feat. Trust me, I wish it were. So let's dive deep into the Raptor's unique design and the components that make it so, well, revolutionary. As if rocket science wasn't difficult enough, we're now trying to increase efficiency by catching the Starship with Mechazilla Towers. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? But implementing this system comes with its own set of challenges, especially when it comes to flight certification. Since the Raptors are designed to be reusable, they have to meet the same certification standards as new hardware, which requires a ton of tests starting at the component level. This poses a significant challenge in terms of both time and resources. But hey, who said colonizing Mars would be a cakewalk? Now, I wouldn't be Elon Musk if I didn't face a few bumps in the road, right? Despite its incredible potential, the Raptor engine has had its fair share of failed tests and issues. A significant part of these failures is related to the engine's use of methane, which hasn't been successfully used in a rocket engine before. I bet you're thinking, classic Elon, always trying to push boundaries. To make matters worse, I, yes me, sent an urgent email to my employees urging them to address the crisis and work over the weekend on the Raptor engine line. After all, we've got a planet to colonize. As a result of these difficulties, Raptor production has reportedly slowed down. In recent months, several test failures and explosions have made it clear that the engine still has a long way to go. But the complexity of the engine's design is not the only problem. The very fact that the Raptors are intended to be reusable adds another layer of difficulty for SpaceX engineers. Safely landing something the size of a rocket stage by parachute is no easy task, and the challenges of reusability don't end there. Landing a rocket stage on solid ground is an entirely different ballgame. The last thing we want is for our precious Raptor engines to take a saltwater bath, corroding their delicate components. And let's not forget about the sheer logistics of retrieving the engines after they've done their job. While it would be incredibly cool to see a rocket stage gliding back to Earth on wings, the added weight and complexity would be counterproductive. So, we're back to square one, trying to find the perfect balance between reusability and feasibility. As I mentioned earlier, using methane in rocket engines is a bit of a gamble. No methane-powered rocket has ever made it to orbit, and Raptor is the third engine in history to employ a full-flow stage combustion engine. To put it in simpler terms, we're attempting something that has never been done before, but that's what makes it so exhilarating. A full-flow stage combustion engine offers better efficiency and higher thrust-to-weight ratios than traditional engines. Methane is not only more efficient than traditional fuels, but it's also easier to handle and store in space. Plus, we can produce it on Mars, which is essential for our long-term plan of creating a self-sustaining colony on the Red Planet. It's important to consider the environmental impact of the Raptor engine as well. You might be wondering, why choose methane as a fuel in the first place? Well, methane is a cleaner fuel producing less pollution when burned compared to kerosene, which is commonly used in rocket engines. This means that not only are we striving for efficiency and reusability, but we're also doing our part to minimize the environmental impact of space exploration. Now, you may be wondering how close we are to actually sending humans to Mars. I'll be honest, we've still got a long way to go. Perfecting the Raptor engine is just one piece of the puzzle. There are countless other factors to consider, such as life support systems, radiation protection, and developing the infrastructure needed to sustain life on Mars. But as they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and the Raptor engine is one giant leap in the right direction. Despite the challenges faced in the development of the Raptor engine, SpaceX remains committed to achieving our ultimate goal of making life multiplanetary. We'll continue to test, learn, iterate, and innovate, improving the engine's performance and reliability with each iteration. As we work to overcome these obstacles, we remain focused on the bigger picture, creating a future where humans can live and work on Mars. 
This is a testament to the resilience and determination of the SpaceX team that we continue to push forward in the face of adversity. It's said that the best way to predict the future is to create it. And with the Raptor engine, we're doing just that. Thank you for joining me and can't wait to see what the future holds.